open up the playpen. Ha 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 ha! We took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah, Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment. You know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my God. They got these, they get these, what they call ringworms in their head. Oh, my God. And the, talk about lice. Oh, my God. And the women are just, they, oh, God, no. I was like, I want to. Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know. Oh. Yeah, I had one of them. All righty, you guys. So, me and Dad had a great day. We, we were at my grandma and grandpa's. Yep. My question to you, Barry. I've seen you at home, buddy boy. I, I, I got a question. Did any of them great friends invite you over for the family cookout? Did Did anybody or was you home alone, all alone, with no family besides Ryan? Just Just curiosity. How was your yeah, How was your Easter? But I mean, you got all these great friends, and you're so well liked. You think you would have done a You think you would have went over and done a little video, hanging out with your buddies and. I mean, what, your brother didn't call you to come over? Your sister? Um, or, or what about Super Sam? He didn't invite you over to eat with him and his family? I mean, you're well liked. You got so many friends, Barry. Try to tell you, Barry, it's like you like to change your life. I mean, it's not you, homie. The proof is, the, the, the fact is, you're all alone, Barry, in this world. And you're, you're, in, you're solo, that only one person in this life when you're gone is going to miss you. Because you're a bad person, but you don't have to be. Although, Marco, hey, you guys, I, I caught on the way home, I was going through my phone, see Barry upload the video, he's got him a little baby tripod now. So, I mean, he must have went to Dollar Tree and got him a tripod. So, is it shorty? Yeah, it's a real short one. I mean, words. most YouTubers, like me, we have... <laughs> you I, called yourself a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber. I'm better than Barry at this shit. Um, Barry, just so you know, most people have a small and a big. Well, I got that. So I got a, two smalls, you know what two bigs. Small big? Me? No, you don't make a small and a big. What? Me and Barry standing next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Guess which one's the big? Barry. No. I mean, Barry, I got your back. I'm helping you out. How, how long, Barry? I got a question for you. How long before you start actually adding videos now? He says he's been editing them. I mean, what day is it? Week is it? They got their edit, their little, uh, Jack Shack out there that they fucking go in there and fucking bang each other and watch fuck ever. This one is good, Dad. This is day. This is two years ago. After a hard day of work is done. Well, Barry, we know you didn't fucking do any of that then. It's just more proof that he don't save shit. I mean, everything in his house has been locked up at least once from set. I mean, you just watch his videos. He'll talk all about it. From his mock nuns and fucking... You know what's sad, Barry, on a serious note? Uh, on a real fucking serious note, how is it? How old was Bobby's dad, Hunter? Huh? How old was Bobby's dad, Hunter? Hunter? Hunter one or Hunter two when he died. How bad is it, Barry, that a hundred and two year old man that actually owned two farms and worked his ass off at the Chrysler plant in Indy? We're talking about two, yeah, two thousand acres, two thousand plus acres yeah. farm. How is it this man knew that you can't let shit sit for years at a time without doing anything with it? But you, on the other hand, at 61, can't comprehend that. And listen, man, Barry, I'm telling you, dude, you don't have to die alone, man. You can change. First step you're going to have to do to change is you're going to have to come out and admit the shit you said was fucked up. That you've been a racist piece of shit. That you look at these girls like you look at these girls ain't cool. And you're going to do your best to be a better person. And then just live your life better to be a better person. You know what I find funny, Dad? But you're not capable of that. It's not in your DNA. You know what I find funny, Dad? I mean, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll apologize. When you do and start living better, you know, I'll apologize. You know what I find funny, Dad? I'll apologize for being wrong. That's about it. You know what, you know what I find funny? What's that? The man with 3,000 subs can't get above 100. Views? Views. Uh, right. 
because, I mean, because who wants a lot to do that they know is racist? Who's going to support somebody that they know when he gets mad at you, he's going to, he's going to use your race against you? Not, not with the actions you did to him that, that wronged him in whatever way he sees you wronged him in, but, I mean, he, he just, you're not a good person when you do something. All right, let's just get into this. Fuck this talking shit. About him, your back foot, Beamer and Sun Garage. That's some good fucking. Hand. After a long hard Not day, we got the red tractor unstuck. The motor was locked up. It was hydrologic, See? like I said. The carburetor flooded the cylinder, and my stone when he installed the starter, it was incorrectly installed. And so Master mechanic started, fucked you know, up, bear. Or are you just trying to make him look bad? I think uh, you're just trying to make him look bad. Uh, you know, unlock, and we got the fuel out of the cylinder, and we finally got it fired up. So that's a win. Let me get some mock down of the starter lock too, bro. Huh? Like your mom's star. Bear, the bino baby's out. Barry, yeah, quit yeah, trying yeah. to make my boy Ryan look bad, dude. Look at that. There's Seriously. Three. Hey Ryan, the when we baby talk later this week, because Barry, we do talk. Like when we talk playing this week, buddy, and you can tell me all about lucky it. Lucky kid, lucky. There's lucky. There's a lucky one right there. Look, I mean, look, this is the man we're all envious of. House, folks. Was, uh, that's what you see when you walk up on his front door when you look in. This is the man, you, folks, we're all envious of. So he brought to me. And yeah, bear, I'm so envious, dude. When can I be you? Given birth to her kittens and took Lucky in. And boom, there's Lucky. So, Lucky Ryan found her. I was gonna call her Lucky Ryan, but it's a female, so we just call her Lucky. Well, you call the so, oh, 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 Barry. Don't you call the female Barry Sam one, one Sam two, two Sam three? three. I told you that he was. Look at the cigarette. Look at the cigarette. No, seriously, let's talk about this. You don't want to call a female cat Ryan, but he calls female cat Sam. You know, moisture, condensation. Hold you, Barry. Come right on, Look at the cigarette, Dad. Oh, what kind of holds a cigarette? Every single car I should he holds it like a woman. No, he don't. He holds it like he's a dirty butt. I mean, who the fuck holds a cigarette after mad? It's because you had no feeling in his fucking fingertips or something. We just, you know, we just got to work on him. Oh, did you? It looks the fucking same to me, Dad. Can you tell any work's been done? And it's the four wheel drive up there. I left the door open on it, so we're going to go over there and close it and just to finish the day off. There's my sheet. That's hey, Barry, I want to tell you something, buddy, from the bottom of my heart oh, on a serious note. You know if something sits in a field and a mouse pee on it repeatedly, 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 and all, like for a year or two at a time, the chance of you getting a smell out of that vehicle, you could strip the carpet out, you could strip the headliner out, you could pull every piece you want, and that smell is still going to be in there, Barry. I mean, we're about to find out because that, that Chevy truck, I mean, it's a shame because it's a rust-free cab. I mean, and I don't know if you all, anybody know, but for that year truck to have something that's rust-free, <laughs> square body, square body wise, it's pretty rare. And, but the smell, man, it's like the Dakota we got back at that same place. But his dad wiped it out in the early 2000s. I mean, the smell is fuck, man. If I, you hear Vice Grip say it, man, if I could describe it, you know, I mean. It smelled like two hobos fucking in 100 degree heat. Right, I mean, on top of a pile of dead bodies. I mean. The fuel tank's way back here. Way back here. And it doesn't, you know. Grab your feet down. Willy belly? That's your full pump? That's your full tank? Holy shit. I thought it was on the engine. Down into the carburetor, and that would be gravity fed. But this particular engine in Lawnmower, it had a different engine on with a vacuum fuel pump. And what it did was when the engine was cranking, it, 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 it made vacuum. Hey, Dad, you want to hear how deep he is? Pull the fuel into Look at the fuel pump is on. Well, when we swapped the engine, this engine doesn't have it. This engine was a gravity-fed uh, fuel system. That was Why didn't you that take the, the fuel pump? pump it should be universal. Why didn't you take the other fuel pump? Well, Dad, he's got a universal fuel pump on. Look what he's got on. We're talking about the other ones off back to Let's talk. You haven't made fun of him yet for it. So, and are you not seeing the thousand mile per gallon fucking fuel pump? And then a hot. If it's gravity-fed, why do you even need a fuel pump? Period. Why in the fuck are you on, Barry? This motherfucker's on another level. Right, when, you, when you touch that. He's definitely. He's, he is on he's a, definitely. He's on the spectrum. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly where I'm going to go. No, because 
People on the spectrum have more. I mean, they're smart people on the spectrum. They're smart on another level. AutoZone. I bet you. I bet you. AutoZone has a berry section and it's stuck with nothing but rattle pumps. Battery when I keep the wire keeps going off, even if it wouldn't come off. That battery, I had to use the jump box. I mean, why do you need a fuel pump if gravity fed? I'm confused. I don't think it'll crank. No. Everybody Kudos to you, though, Barry. Finally, you got a, one of them pumps hooked up how it's supposed to be, below the fuel line. But we had to run, and it's unlocked. Hey, Barry, I had a question for you. How's that lawsuit coming? Is that why you couldn't afford a decent tripod, man? Because you're you trying to sue me and Mako, and all your money's tied up right now in legal battle? Check for the car wrap, so. Wah, wah, wah. Such a soda, man. What was the bill, Mako? We call it the Mago. The Orme is slow. The Orme is slow. Every car you got, mm -hmm. lawnmower, dirt bike, quad, it's just like that. I mean, yeah, all these doors open and all these cars, we were spraying hood hinges. If, it, if, if it had fuel injector down there, it might or might not run. Door I got a serious, I got a serious question, folks. Why do this? None of these cars are going to, it's not like that coming year they were going to be on the road. Why care? Raise the hoods up and down. We didn't raise the hood on this one. Barry, this is why you can't fix one. Well, besides the fact you're not knowledgeable enough to fix anything, this is why you can't work on anything because you got 20 fucking ideas running through your fucking head at one time and don't have the means, the brains, or anything to get the one done. Oh, yeah, Barry. Them hinges are for one year old. Barry, 400. Carburetor's got some. Who gives a fuck? They was junk from the factory. It's going to be clean. And that carburetor, phew. No, no, not even a Ford person says anything good about that carburetor. That's weird. Is it a valve cover bowl? No, too big for valve cover bowl. I don't know. Damn, the Ford expert don't know what bolts go where? Find a bolt just sitting on top here. I mean, look, and he don't have the fuel line hooked up to none of these cars. He's what car do you think that is, man? I believe the rear end's blown out of it. If I remember right, it needs a rear end. Can't remember now. Oh, we're gonna get one this summer. And car steering fixed brakes. Uh, I got a new fuel pump for it. And why, oh, why, well, why, <laughs> why put the fuel pump on there? You'll destroy it in, in a year because you'll run out of gas 12 times. And we're gonna Not even that. Who the fuck, fuck worries about a fuel I'm pump when, when the rear blown out and all this other shit? Truck. Who worries about a fuel pump? Nice house carpet there, Barry. <laughs> Is that Shag? Uh, <laughs> so, there it is. That's a blue Shag carpet. Uh, uh, it's a shame because I think it's a short yeah, venture. It looks like it's falling down right here. But it's not that bad. Let's so, see the cab corners. Yeah, let's see the cab corners, the shocks, the body, where your body mounts go. That's what, cab corners? Oh, I want to see the cab corners. My brother said that's his. No, not that. My brother said that's his. What in the fuck are you on? on the back. Listen, man, he ain't. Bullshit, man. Barry, he's got more money than you. How would your brother even see the pain? He would say it's his. And if you and if you didn't care about it, why not let him have it? It wouldn't be sitting there. You gotta sit in a truck. Because he's got a hit out there. I promise it's his brother's, and he hit it in that truck, hoping to cost him a loop with a cake. Yep. We might put this. There's the tag on it. It's actually got an historical tag. Oh my god. Goes in that truck. It's sitting on a piece of wood. That went across the back. You are a joke, man. <clears throat> and I drove it around to very little because it had a rear end issue and it had some other issues. Yeah, let's worry about that. Let's not worry about the rust, the fucking getting a bed for it, nothing like that. Let's how, worry. Hold on, Barry. How did you drive it around with a historic plate, Barry? It's so hard to raise. You keep talking about you driving these cars. You can only drive them to car shows. So. And to the shop. These cars opened up doors, deck lids, hood, and all these cars today. And I shut them, most of them all up, and there's just a couple left. Why? I, 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 I'm, I'm like fucking lost. Place. The tree fell on that Mustang. When that tree fell on the garage, we cut it off, and then it fell on the Mustang, and it just destroyed it. So that's a... Uh, he fucked, fucked up his own car. Jesus <laughs> you couldn't even Christ. cut a tree. That's why you and quit. it is destroyed. That's why that car's still there, and he ain't sold it. Nobody's gonna buy that. The roof's destroyed. Is the Omega... Oh, yeah. And that's probably why that it's building leans, Barry. Okay, Barry, I apologize. Maybe you didn't build it, Lena. A limb fell on it. And hey, there's that lamp. But that don't make sense because it bends the that's wrong way. Lamp. That's my very first lamp that I ever had. 
and this my other lamp. These are my son's carburetors and bicycle parts. You can see bicycle parts in there. There's a carburetor and stuff. I guarantee that's the shit he stole. Yeah, that, like that's, that's, that's lamps, uh, yeah. more soils. Uh, I I think this is yeah. Yeah, I think this is I think this is before he even got busted. Yeah, I think. It's all the stuff that belonged to me. You know, it was over my my great mother's house. Yeah, you ripped that fucking shop light out. Right here, this is the video. He's gonna call the police department. That's my lamp. Yeah, man, go ahead, you piece of shit. My lamp. See, that's the lamp. Folks, we're not hey, fucking please. making shit up about this cocksucker. This was his, and that was his. And got him to write a, a warrant for my arrest for a felony. And I went to jail over it. What a piece of shit liar. And you pled and to it. And you pled to it, bitch. So you and did it. Evidence. And the case was so flimsy, I beat it. But Oh, yeah. Prove it, Barry. Secured a lawyer, you know. And it was $5,000. Prove it, so bitch. Prove you won. That piece of shit. I started to keep talking about it, people, but... How would you feel if you just spent five grand on a case that? What? Ho, 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 Barry, I wouldn't if be you, in that listen, situation. You can prove it easily, Barry, if you had a lawyer. Your lawyer will have copies of you know, all this shit. Yep. They have to keep copies for so many years. Uh, you know, karma's going to get you. God's Bitch, get you. you are not one to talk about karma, fucking yeah, fat boy. I say, God help you, but. Fuck it. And, Barry, the way you God look at young help. girls, God ain't nowhere God near you, friend. Right I mean, where you belong. And that's my TV. My brother said, that's my TV. He stole my TV. Huh? And what? He was yeah. worried about a shitty 80s yeah, that's TV. That, you know, I'm still, still smart about that, you know. I can't yeah, Barry says the guy said the totes was his, too. You know, I mean, think about it, man. Or, You're fucking nuts, you know, Barry. You are fucking bond. delusional as fuck. I wanted a $5,000 bail bond to bail me out. So I had to get a bond. Hang on. Barry, they wanted that much, but they didn't have nothing on you. The bounty hunter, he looks for the bail bond. He works for me because they don't pay. Or they don't what did he just say? The obligations they had when they were on bond is basically on probation, and they didn't take care of their, you know, uh, obligations. Call my dog bounty hunter. Bond and was revoked, and dog the bounty hunter would come out and hunt them down and get them, you know, pick them up, and they go back in jail. And that's what the oh well, you bounty think the dog the bounty hunter did. I think he still does. Oh. Wow. Well, you know, you're you're full of shit. If you're saying Dr. Bounty Hunter bonded you out of jail. Is that what he's saying? I don't fucking like know. And, uh, boy, I'd like to hire him for a job with my brother. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, he's weighing like 490 pounds, and hopefully he'll just croak from a massive heart attack and be so obese. Hang on a minute. I got to pause this. Shit, shit. I hope you fall on trip and you know, break a leg, you fat piece of shit. And that's it here, Beaver and Sun Girl. Hey, Bear. On a serious note, uh, Fairy Berry. You gotta be pushing cute feet. You wanna talk about karma, right? Buddy, you can't walk to the end of your fucking driveway without getting out of breath. Does now, your brother smoke you, like you, you wish this two years ago. Barry, karma is real for the bad people. Two years ago. And everything you have said has happened to you. From an accident, or you got a boo-boo in your head, to now your health is so bad, dude, you can't walk to the end of your fucking driveway without getting out of breath. Barry, you have two not, years left. Not to mention, you're Mr. Obvious's, and now this is happening to you, Barry? I mean, that's what I mean, Barry. I mean, you need to get right with if you If anybody believes in God, I'm not, I believe in God. So... I believe that you need to get right before the end. And, and I don't believe right at the end you can just say, oh, Jesus, forgive me. You need to get right now, Barry. I mean, be I'm care, telling you. Be careful what you You can turn for. all this around, Barry. You can have people that cared about you and shit. You don't yeah, want that. that. You're, you're a piece of shit. Uh, check out our friend Scott's You can't admit your faults. Uh, How could he ever be saved if you can't admit you're a sinner and a fault? Uh, Jamie Phillips acts as auto parts. Uh -huh. Jamie, we I mean, want to see that LTD. Show us something there uh, on the channel. And show us that LTD. We want to trade that Zephyr for that LTD. Uh, show me, see if we still got the uh, passenger Why would you door trade glass. Why would you want your busted ass rod out Zephyr? And does it still have the uh, engine transmission in it? Did it run to turn over? Let us know a little bit about it. I want to do a trade with you on that. And that's it. We'll see you on the next one at Beamer and Sun Garage. Uh,
Check out our channel. You weren't even smart enough to not let a tree fall in your car. And subscribe to them. All right, let's go to the next one. Fuck you, Barry.